Mr Trump is facing four indictments in total. So what makes this one in Georgia uniquely important? Well, who better to ask than Kelly Hyman, a legal analyst and Democratic political commentator who joins us now from Miami. Kelly, thank you for being with us. And yes, if you could just sum up then, why is this one potentially different? Well, I, I think it's important first to look at these four different criminal cases. We have to understand that Donald Trump faces 91 charges across four separate criminal cases. There are two cases in federal court and two cases in state court. The federal one is known as the Mar-a-Lago one, where that deals with withholding um, classified documents, allegedly. Donald Trump denies any wrongdoing in that case. There is also the one in Washington, D.C. as well about the January 8th, the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Now, in regards to New York, that is a state court case, and that deals with alleged hush money that he's been charged with. Now to the Georgia case. This is a state case. And what is different from this case in Georgia than the other cases, that there are co-conspirators that have been charged as well, his attorneys, and alleged that there was some type of conspiracy and a RICO charge, what is usually known as high profile mob type of cases. And that's what makes the Georgia case so different than the other cases. And in addition, Kelly, uh, it might be that this is the first time the public actually sees him in court, unlike the previous uh, arrests. Just explain why that is and how that could affect, uh, the optics of that could affect how he's viewed. So after he turns himself in and he gets uh, fingerprinted and potentially the mugshot, and it appears that there is going to be a mugshot because the co-conspirators have been had their photo taken. And so after that, it's called arraignment. And what that means is that they go to court and the state will read what the charges are and then he pleads. Now in Georgia, usually these are videotape cameras are allowed to come in however it'll be up to the judge of the case to make a determination on whether cameras come in or not so potentially if the do if the cameras come in then we're going to get to see the arraignment firsthand live and uh, just briefly kelly uh Trump, Donald Trump can choose whether or not to testify before a jury uh, how might either option affect his defense Right. So it is the, his, he is entitled to testify or not testify. That is his decision. In the court of law in the U.S., you are innocent until proven guilty. So the state or the government has the burden to prove every single element of the crime. So it'll be interesting to see if he testifies in these cases or not. We'll have to see how that plays out. Uh, well, Kelly, thank you. We'll leave it there. But thank you so much for your analysis there. That's Kelly Hyman, who's a legal analyst and Democratic political commentator. Thank you. Thank you.